invites you to enjoy life. Life with Luigi, a new comedy show created by Cy Howard and starring that celebrated actor, Mr. J. Carroll Nash, with Alan Reed as Pasquale. Vasco left Italy to start his new life in America, he promised his mother that he would write and tell her about his adventures. So now let's read Luigi's letter as he writes to Mama Vasco in Italy. Dear Mamma Mia. <laughs> you know, in America, people are just like the people in Italy. They're crazy for the little children. All over is a baseball of fields, a playgrounds, and a parks. And I'm even hear about the little stores they got there, where the kids are gonna go inside and swim. Is it called the pool rooms? <laughs> <laughs> Mamma mia, I'm wish you could have seen the younger people. I wish you could have seen all of these younger people. How they play in America. <laughs> little kids. They play with the play school of toys. Bigger kids, they play with the blackboards, the doctors, the sets, and the crayons. And they also got a construction of sets, magic boxes, and electric trains. These are toys for the biggest kids of all, the fathers. <laughs> but the reason I'm writing you these things is because of this past week, I've been collecting the money for a wonderful thing. That's to build the recreation center for all of the kids in the neighborhood. Everybody is giving me nickels, dimes, pennies, and dollars. But a Pasquale is the one who give only one thing. Is a daughter Rosa. <laughs> I'm ashamed for my countryman, a Pasquale. He should have given no money. So before I'm going to go to my night school class, I'm going to ask him once more. Luigi, my friend. <laughs> hello, Luigi. Hello, hello. Hello, Pasquale. Pasquale, for the last time, are you going to give the money for these children? Sure, Luigi. I'm going to give the money for the children. Especially if they're my grandchildren. <laughs> Pasquale, you ain't got no grandchildren. Whose fault is that? <laughs> Look, Luigi, I'm got a nothing against the kids, but if you like them so much, why don't you marry Rosa? Don't answer that. Pasquale, <laughs> uh, uh. please, I'm not coming here to talk about a marriage. No, then go out and come in again. <laughs> Pasquale, from the people in this neighborhood, and they ain't got much money, I was able to collect the $25. But from you, the richest man here, I'm not able to get the one penny for the kids. Pasquale, if I'm a go out there now, I'm a no come back in no more. No, Luigi, don't be a stupid greenhorn a boob. <laughs> Instead of collecting for somebody else, collect for yourself. In this world, the big fish eat the little fish. Big animals eat the little animals. The little fellas always getting swallowed up. The whole world is full of cannonballs. <laughs> Pasquale, is your last chance? Last chance, last chance. Always you sound like a bartender five minutes before 12 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Pasquale. Wait a minute. Uh, what do you got in your hand there? Phonograph for record? Yeah, Pasquale. By Mario Lanza. I'm a here at the Horowitz's house, so he's a lender to me. Mario Lanza? Uh-huh. That's it at the new movie to pitch a star. Eh? Oh, Pasquale, what a beautiful voice he's got there. Last week, I went to the movies, I saw him in a picture, and when he's finished singing, I was almost crying. Why? Somebody was a steal your popcorn? <laughs> Pasquale, how can you talk like that? Just to listen to this record. Celeste. I got no time. No, wait, I play you on a phonograph. Just to the finish. No. <laughs> He's a beautiful, huh, Pasquale? Oh, that's... Luigi, don't think you're going to soften me up so I'm going to give you any money. Stop with a record. 
I see you trouble. You're too soft. Always listening to this opera music, symphonies, and on Sundays to this harmonica orchestra. <laughs> Pasquale, that's uh, the Philharmonica Orchestra. When I'm a heard of the Phil, there wasn't a player. <laughs> Luigi, if you want to think of a beautiful music, think of my Rosa. Doesn't she remind you of a beautiful song? Huh? I say, don't she remind you of a beautiful song? Yeah, that's right. Mueller train. <laughs> Luigi, that kind of talk is certainly ain't going to get you no money for the children's separation center. <laughs> Pasquale is a recreation center. You want to separate me from my money? That's a separation center. <laughs> but Pasquale, don't you believe in, in a, just a doing a kindness for somebody? Luigi, I'm a sick of hearing that kind of talk. Nobody's ever did a kindness for me. When I'm a step off of the boat... First, the thing somebody was ahead of me was my work in the papers. Fourteen years old, I was working 12 hours a day, pressing with the iron in the shirt waste factory. Work to save, work to save. Finally, I buy this restaurant. That money I'm a god is enough of a kindness. That's a sweat. Well, Pasquale, what do you say is it true? Your life was a hard and nobody's to show you kindness. But, Pasquale, that don't mean that there's some day you... Some day, some day. When? Luigi? If anybody was to show me one of kindness, any little thing, I, I, I would have given you as much money as you already collected. Twenty-five dollars. Until then, you don't see one lad a dime. But, Pasquale, it's for the little children. This recreation center would keep them off of the street. I know how to keep those kids off of the streets. How? Send them up on the roofs and I go... <laughs> All right, class, quiet. I'll call the roll. Mr. Basco? Present. Mr. Horwitz? Present. Mr. Olson? Present. Mr. Schultz? Yeah, I'm here, but I ain't got no present. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mr. Schultz. Now, before we begin our lesson, I'd like to find out how our recreation center fund is coming along. Mr. Weiler's class collected $45. How are you doing, Mr. Basco? Well, uh, so far I'm uh, collected only twenty-five dollars. Mm, that's not so good, Luigi. Oh, we would like to beat Mr. Weiler's class. Uh, how much did that Pasquale ship in? Well, uh, well, uh, sure, so, uh, uh, so far. Uh... Aha, he gave nothing. Well, uh, well, uh, he's uh, so busy. Now, now, stop covering up for that miser. Pasquale is so stingy. When he gets a cold, he swallows only one way from a four-way cold tablet. <laughs> No, no, Schultz, Schultz, don't say that. You, you must try to understand the Pasquale. He's not the stingy. He's just that all his life, nobody is a showman in a kindness. And he's lost all the feelings to give. He's, he's like a man with the no inside. Schultz, you know what it's like to feel the empty inside? Yeah, when I had my appendix taken off. <laughs> Well, it's too bad about Mr. Pasquale, Mr. Basco. Anyway, see if you can't cover the rest of the neighborhood by the end of the week, because we've got to turn in our money. Well, all right, Miss Spaulding. Oh, oh, before I forget the horror, which I'm a brought the back of your record. Thanks so very much. You're welcome. That Lanza, he's got a voice, huh? <laughs> Harrow, it's, it's a beautiful. Beautiful. And I'll give you an idea what the Pasquale is really like. When I'm a played him at this record, he's not to say anything. Mm. But you should see how his eyes is a light up. His whole face is a light up. And you know what that's a proof? Yeah, he's a human pinball machine. <laughs> Look, Luigi, the sad fact is, Pasquale has no feelings. And you're just wasting your time with him. Well, uh, no, no, wait. Pasquale is a love of good music, I'm sure. He said to me if somebody was to show him a little kindness, he would have given $25 for this recreation center. What are you getting at, Mr. Basco? I'm going to buy him with this Mario Lanza album. Then that's a proof to him if somebody is to think of him. And if somebody is to show him a kindness. And I'm sure he's going to give it the money. Luigi, I think you got a good idea. That album costs $5. I'll give my share. Here, a dollar and a quarter. 
Oh, well, I'll go along with that. Here, here's my dollar and a quarter. And here's mine. Uh, Luigi, I don't want to see you lose your face in human beings. Here's my money. Oh, oh that's a nice. Uh, thanks, uh, thanks, uh, friends. Uh, we all meet at a Pasquale store eight to thirty tomorrow night. I'm going to give them the, the records then. Uh, by the way, Luigi, Mario Lanza is going to be in Marshall Fields Music Department tomorrow in Poison, autographing his records. Why don't you go there and you can meet him too? Well, uh, thank you, Horowitz. I'm going to do that. Good. And you'll see you're not going to be disappointed. Pasquale's got the goodness deeper down in the side of him. And maybe it, it will take something like this to bring it out. I still have to do with this TNT. <laughs> Act of Luigi Basco's adventures in Chicago, we turn to page two of his letter to his mother in Italy. Well, Mamma Mia, I'm hoping a lot today. I'm going to downtown to Marshall and Film Music Department to buy Pasquale that Mario Lanza album of records. For Pasquale's sake, I hope he's a given money for the recreation center. Mamma mia, I'm sure he can afford this. Because once he's showed me his bank book, and his money is run into six numbers, I'm a sodder myself, stamped right under the cover. <laughs> well, Mamma mia, I'm finishing this letter later. Right now, I'm going to the department store. <laughs> Excuse me, please. Maybe, maybe you know where is the director of the department? There it is, right over there. Thank you. May I help you, sir? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, please. I'm like to buy some records. Uh, certainly. How about a room full of roses? Huh? <laughs> I said, how about a room full of roses? No, thanks. I'm going to want to buy flowers. I'm going to just buy records. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, we have something very nice just came in with the uh, ink spot. <laughs> with the ink spots? <laughs> yes, yes. Well, if you don't mind, I'm going to want to clean the record. <laughs> Please, I'm going to come in a special to... Now, wait, wait. I have just a thing for you. What the... Why was I born? <laughs> Don't ask me, ask you, Mama. <laughs> Sir, wait a minute. You know it's a record. Don't you follow the hit parade? No, when I'm a walker too much, my feet are hurt. <laughs> Look, mister, just what do you want? Well, I'm a coming in here just to buy Mario Lanza record. Oh, yes, 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 that Midnight Kiss album. Uh -huh. Oh, yes, yes, that album is selling like hotcakes. Oh, you sell a hotcakes at all? <laughs> Look, <laughs> never mind. Here's the album. That's four seventy-five plus tax. That comes to four eighty-eight. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, Mr. Clark, ain't the Mario Lanza supposed to be here? Oh, yes, yes. He, he's here autographing records. He just stepped out, but he'll be back in a minute. All right, I wait. Oh, here he is. Uh, Mr. Lanza, would you please autograph this album? Certainly, be glad to. <laughs> well, friend, what are you staring at? I'm going to never see Hollywood started before. <laughs> Once I thought I'm going to see Donald Duck, but as it turned out... But as it turned out, there was a just a plain of chicken. <laughs> Mario Lanza. Mamma mia. Mamma mia, huh? Eh? Ma lei parla italiana come fossi venuta recentemente. E ne fatti sono qui da un anno. È un grande piacere di conoscerti. Buona fortuna e felicità. Grazie molto. Sei un bravo persona. Uh, is there anything wrong, Mr. Lanza? <laughs> <laughs> No, we just discovered we're a couple of launchmen. <laughs> now, 
what would you like me to write on your album? You do me a big favor, please, if you write it down there. To Pasquale with a kindness from his friend Luigi, who's not having money enough for because he's a giver, he's a terrible <laughs> So he's a friend's also in a heart of which the Mrs. Spalling and a Schultz that they all chip in. Is that all? No, you also write that. The reason that these people is a chip in a Pasquale is because they want to show you they all are so friends, so you understand what it means to receive a kindness from somebody who's not really interested. Uh, are you finished? No, not yet. <laughs> And uh, now I'm a hope, Pasquale, that you keep your part of the bargain and when you see what's been done for you, do what you're supposed to do. Give the money for the recreation center. Love, Louis. <laughs> <laughs> Look, uh, why don't you see me sometime when I have the weekend off? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse, I'm asking too much, huh? Well, uh, please, just write uh, to Pasquale with a kindness from Mario Lan. Fine. You know, you seem to have uh, quite a purpose in buying this album. Yeah, like you say, it's uh, quite the purpose. Well, here you are. Thank you very much, Mr. Andrew. Thank you, and arrivederci. Eh? Arrivederci. Oh, what a fine fellow he is. Such a nice handwriting. To Pasquale from... Oh, oh sir. watch out! Oh, excuse me, lady. Oh, mamma mia. Album is a fall on the floor. All the records is a broke. That's the worst thing that could happen. Everything is done for nothing. Excuse me, Mr. Mamma Mia. Oh, Mr. Lanz, the terrible thing is that happen to your records. They all smash us to the pieces. Oh, that's all right. It happens in hundreds of automatic record changes. But what am I going to do? Well, don't worry about that. Uh, will you please give this man another album, Mr. Pasternak? Here you are, sir. Oh, Mr. Lanz, thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Lanz and Mr. Packersnack. <laughs> you don't know what this is a mean. That's a twice the kindness of a Pasquale. Uh, this Pasquale thing is quite important to you. Oh, it's a very important, Mr. Lanz. Pasquale is my countryman who's brought me over from Italy. Today, I'm interested in saving him. You know, this kindness, uh, this... Well, what you're doing, you don't see very much of this sort of thing today. Uh, when are you giving your friend Pasquale these records? Hey, Perry, tonight all of my friends are going to be there. Tell you what, I'll be there too. You'll be there, Mr. Lanza. Mamma mia, how wonderful. Uh, my, my name is Luigi Basco. I'm a guy antique shop at 21 and North Hollister Street. Well, I'm writing it down now, and I'll be there with bells on. Good, then we're going to hear you coming. Hey, <laughs> Perry, tonight, uh, goodbye. Well, Luigi, 8.30 was it going to be here, eh? I don't believe you ever met this Mario Lanz. Well, uh, I'm going to understand it's uh, quarter after nine. You can wait till a quarter after 13, he's not going to show up. <laughs> Maybe this is going to learn you about people. Pasquale, you don't deserve a friend like Luigi. He brought you phonograph records, and all you can do is give him the needle. <laughs> Listen to Mr. Delicatessen, a man. Keep your nose in your own face. Oh, no, Pasquale, Pasquale, that's no way to talk. After all, Schultz and the rest of the class, they all chipped in it to buy you these records. There was a hope that maybe you'd give it $25 for recreation, son. Sure. Sure, it's very easy for you. You spend a dollar a piece, so I'm supposed to spend a 25. <laughs> I'm a too smart for that. Luigi, don't think because I'm a don't look stupid that I'm not. Pasquale, that's the one thing I'm never said that you don't look stupid. That's a funny thing. When I'm saying it, it come out a different. <laughs> Well, it's no use to waste the time of talking. It's a 9.30, your trick it didn't work. I'm no give a money. Good night. Oh, Pasquale, sometimes I wish you were born twin so I could hate you twice as much. <laughs> but, goodbye, Luigi. Goodbye, Shush. You're so am I, Luigi. Luigi, <laughs> Luigi, a burglar is trying to break into your store. A burglar where? Yeah. Look. Mamma mia, it's Mario Lanza. Hey, Mr. Lanza. Well, I finally found you, Mr. Mamma Mia. You told me to show up at an antique shop, 21 North Halstead Street, and you're not there. Oh, I'm a forgot to tell you about a Pasquale's spaghetti palace. You mean 
Too many of you white dinner in front of a my store all of this time? Well, I, I walked around the streets a little. It's it's like back home. You know, I was brought up in the same kind of a neighborhood in South Philadelphia. Oh, I see. Well, that's another stand in the doorway. Come inside, Mr. Lanza. I want you to meet all of my friends. This is a Mr. Schultz, a Mr. Horowitz, a Mr. Hello, Mr. Lanza. Hello, hello, hello. And, a, and, a, and a, this, this is a Mr. Pasquale. Mr. Pasquale, huh? I've heard a lot about you from your friend. You mean it? You was coming to my store just for me? Well, for you and, and for him. Thank you. Himmel, it's so quiet you could hear a tear drop. <laughs> I was to see you in that beautiful picture, that midnight kiss. <laughs> Tell me something. You really kissed Catherine Grayson in that picture? <laughs> well, somebody kissed her, and it wasn't Larry Park. <laughs> Well, Pasquale, here he is in Berlin. Now, how much are you giving for that recreation, that huh? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, Luigi, like I'm a promise you, whatever you collect from everybody, I'm a give. Twenty-five dollars. <laughs> Mr. Pasquale, if you gave enough for these kids, I'd be happy to sing a song. Well, uh, Pasquale. I... Pasquale, think carefully. Mario Lanza is a big star. From the movies, from the opera, from the radio, he sells millions of records. Why, for a concert, he must get at least uh, $75. <laughs> Schultz, what are you talking about? I bet Mr. Lanza gets at least $85. <laughs> oh, no, no, Mr. Lanza must get much more for a concert. Uh, Mr. Lanza, how, how much do you get? Uh, Luigi... How much do you want? Pasquale, how much do you got? <laughs> Luigi, I meant to see you with your own words. Be kind. <laughs> Pasquale, hundred dollars? Luigi, to hear Mario Lanza singing in my store is worth the twice as much. All right, the two hundred dollars. Me and my big mouth. <laughs> Mr. Lanza, Mr. Lanza, what are you going to sing? Well, I've got a special song for Mr. Mamma Mia here. It's called Mamma Mia. One notte sana scena E può brucia che sto a chi stanga E qua mia veglia tu mamma manga Zendas mania et vaza E te chiame shari urno Ma te la vestu chiarore E tenga no per indagore Amori, e tu che ne vuoi da me, e mamma mia non è una vita te, perché sta smane non mi vola so. Mamma mia che da burra, e non la vive vada so. Mamma mia che da burra.
was wonderful, Mario. Uh, oh, I hope you don't mind. I'm calling you by your maiden name. <laughs> <laughs> now go right ahead. <laughs> Mario, you don't know how lucky you are tonight. I'm a got a daughter. <laughs> My daughter is not married. She's very illegible. Pasquale, maybe Mr. Lanz is tired and he wants to go home. Luigi, I'm going to introduce him to my daughter. After all, he's to do me a bigger favor, I'm going to do him a bigger favor. That's right. That the favors are plenty big. Luigi, keep her quiet. If this works out, I'll never have to bother you again. <laughs> now I'm going to call her out. Rosa! 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 You call me, Papa! <laughs> yes! Yes, I call you, my little ride, Chris. <laughs> Rosa! Say hello to Luigi. <laughs> hello, Luigi. Hello, Rosa. Rosa, we got a special guest for you. Rosa, say hello to Mario Lanza. <laughs> hello, Mario. Hello, Rosa. <laughs> This is the famous Mario Lanza. You saw him in that picture, that midnight kiss. What do you say to him? <laughs> it's 11 o'clock, Mr. Lanza. What are we waiting for? Uh, uh, but Pasquale, uh, uh, Mr. Lanza and me was... Well, we was a made a date, and, and we got to go now. Uh, that's right. Huh? Well, where are you two going? To, to the, the movies. Opera. Huh? Uh, to, to the, the opera. Hey, come back to my son. Go, go back, back, Papa. next week at the same time when Luigi Basco uh, writes... Excuse a... me, are you Mr. Luigi? Why, no, I'm Bob Stevenson. Why, it's Gracie Allen! <laughs> uh, Mr. Stevenson, huh? Well, I, I was all prepared to say hello to Mr. Luigi in his native language. Well, I'll say it to you. Bonjour. Uh, bonjour. <laughs> uh, oh, you speak Italian, too. A little. Well, I've come to talk to you about my husband, George Burns, better known as Sugar Throat Burns, the Beverly Hills Nightingale. I think I know what you want, Gracie. You want us to let George sing on this program. Yeah, that's right. Then our sponsor will hear him and realize how great he is and let him sing on our program Wednesday night. I'm sorry. The answer is no. Oh, this is your first big mistake, Mr. Stevenson. Letting George sing could be the greatest thing that's happened to you since you wrote Treasure Island. <laughs> you got the wrong. I didn't write Treasure Island. Oh, well, then that's your second big mistake. Goodbye. <laughs> Good night, Gracie. Life with Luigi is a Cy Howard production. It is written by Mac Benoff and Lou Derman and directed by Mac Benoff. J. Carol Nash has starred as Luigi Basco with Alan Mead as Pasquale. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System.